أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أتي الله أتي الرسول وقول الأمر منكم and always a reminder for myself and abduk al-ajji sadaif wa miskeen wa zalim wa jahal wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa salati wa salam ashraf al mursaleen Sayyidina wa Mawlana Muhammad al-Mustafa sallallahu alaihi wasallam bi madadakum wa nazarakum Sayyidi ya Rasul al-Kareem ya Habib al-Azim Madal ya Sayyidi ya Sultan al-Awliya ma Shaykh Abdul Faiz al-Daghestani, Sultan Shaykh Muhammad Nazim Adil Haqqani, Mawlana Shaykh Shaykh Kirbani, Shaykh Adnan Kirbani, Shaykh Muhammad Radha, Mawlana Khalik al-Khujdawani Sahib Zaman Sayyidina Muhammad al-Mahdi alayhi salam, Ruhullah Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam, Sayyidullah Sayyidina Ali salam Thumma Sayyidina Abu Bakr al-Siddiq, Sayyidina Umar, Sayyidina Usman, Imam al-Hasan alayhi salam, Imam al-Husayn alayhi salam, Sayyidatina Fatima al-Diza alayhi salam, Misayri Sadatina wa Siddiqina al-Fatiha. الشبدي على سور الكريم في بركات ولادات سيدنا الجمال الدين الموفي الحسيني، and the أرس مبارك سيد محمد فندي عراقي، and the أرس مبارك سيد الشيخ دارويش محمد، إن شاء الله الله زوج جل grant us the immense نظر of our beloved grand sheikhs of the Nashbandi order and immensely holy souls. Birthday of Mawlana Shah Naqshaban, Fardul Alam, Fardul Al Shahi Kul, that the immense gift that Allah gives to us, that these are our family, these are our spiritual parents, grandparents that inspired and guided our souls to this reality. Not only the physical relatives that you know but these are the spiritual relatives that you may not know. The Grand Shaykhs of the Naqshbandi order means their du'as, their acceptance, their continued guidance through the world of light is what brings us here today, what dresses us and blesses us and no cleverness of our own. So this is an immense gift that Allah from good brings good. <coughs> People may look at their immediate family and say, well I don't see that level of good. It's not because it's not the immediate family, it's the descendants and this lineage, a noble lineage where Allah takes from this noble lineage. As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Lineage, its seed along the path and determines which one will again be an ambassador for that reality. So it may skip many generations until it reaches one whom Allah wants to call towards His Divinely service and Divinely lights. This month of hijrah, the month of movement, the month of openings, alhamdulillah that Allah grant us the immense blessings of Surah Tawbah in which to enter with no Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem and this is the, the gate of annihilation because true tawbah is not Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem that Ya Rabbi in your mercy forgive me and let me continue to always do bad things but Ya Rabbi Bismillah Allahu Akbar please grant me to be halal and grant me to be worthy of your Divinely service and a life of khidmat, a life of service. And that we talked the nights before that all the holy companions they show their secret. Sayyidina Sulaiman al Farsi achieved a rank 
of being from the family of Prophet <coughs> No fighting, there were so many jihads, no fasting in the presence of Prophet <coughs> not even praying yet. So this is, these are the hikmah of awliya that they take from the life of Prophet ﷺ and the holy companions, they are all examples, they're isharats for us. When people think that it's their amal, they're going to read a lot, recite a lot, pray a lot, they're going to do a lot of physical actions to gain the favour of Allah and the favour of Sayyidina Muhammad and in the life of Sayyidina Sulaiman of Farsi from Fars from Iran and the Khurasan region gives to us an example. And the holy companions witness that he didn't do any prayers with us, we didn't struggle in any battles with us but immediately Prophet determines that this is my family, my household. And what gained entry to the household? He didn't describe that this is a lineage of light from my light and this is my hidden cousin that I didn't know about but he described his khidmat, his service and it gives the adab of Naqshbandiya that he served Jewish people, Jewish rabbi, Christian monk, he served so many different types of people but he served with sincerity, good manners, good character. So it means that the nobility of tariqah is good character, not judging people. Imagine serving Jewish rabbi, Christian priest and being awarded to be Ahlul Bayt all for the service of reaching Prophet and within the own brotherhood of Naqshbandiya somebody attacking somebody else and slandering, backbiting. These are all tariq al-adab, they come completely against the mannerisms so that when people are sharing and saying, oh these people are like you know, they said so many bad things, was that this is the example Allah's giving. They look at His noble service to Allah's creation because He wanted to serve Allah's creation for the sake of reaching to Prophet So immense, immense realities of good manners. So how he reached and became the family of Prophet ﷺ? Khidmat. So then what does the shaykh ask of people? Is khidmat, is, is live a life of service, you know from a distance serve. Everybody now they gave an example, you can all share articles, it doesn't take anything more than a finger and a phone. There's uh, kids in Nigeria and every pocket of this earth that have a phone. They can take a link and share it. So it means khidmat is worldwide, is unlimited. Take the articles, take the, the websites, takes the links from all of our different services and sites and we serve them, save, serve them, send them out, post them, take food, water, goods, everything. Our life is in service. If we serve for the sake of Sayyidina Muhammad's nazar, then we're inheriting from the reality of Sulaiman al Farsi. That you say, Are you Ahlul Bayt? Inshallah, through your service to reach the Ahlul Bayt, to reach the status of the household of Sayyidina Muhammad is very much attainable. And this is the dalil, this is the proof of such a reality. And that's why the shaykhs are encouraging, why? Because every time they're in the association with Sayyidina Muhammad they're asking for forgiveness, they're saying asking for forgiveness for their community, for their loved ones, for their family that say, Ya Rasul Kareem, Ya Habib al Azim for the sake of their service and their khidmat. If a day comes that you become sickened, you choke, you have difficulties, you have fevers, you have any type of difficulty in life, a lost child, something happening, the shaykh needs something to make that audience. So it should be very clear when your life is, is, is completely dedicated to service and we said before you're, it's under their nazar. 
means they're seeing who's posting, they're seeing who's commenting, they're seeing who's trying and trying to propagate and spread this love. They're not just hearing and ignoring what the shaykh is saying, they're actually putting their faith in action. And as a result they have a hisab and an account with the with, with Prophet with the shaykhs. And as soon as they need that in an event of difficulty they immediately making their munajjad and du'a and asking Prophet for the sake of their khidmat and their service, Ya Sidi Ya Rasul Kareem that put your nazar upon them and take this difficulty away. So it means our whole life is based on that and that's in the time that we need it. Imagine then when everything is good and all the blessings in life are flowing, it is the source of all blessings and all emanations. Every insurance policy is based on this policy. <coughs> you can <coughs> get insurance as much as you want for your house, for your car, for your body, for your life. It has no value if Prophet is not the insurance company, right? If he's not the underwriter which in which he signs his nazar is upon your home, his nazar upon your family, your body, your being, all those can never help you and can never save you. Even calamity will come and the insurance company says, we're not covering you. So how you not, how you, how you cannot cover so not because the underwriter has to be Prophet means everything in our life is that barakah and that blessing. It's immense, immense as we are moving towards the Mina the Nabi we can't stress enough for people to propagate that love. Spread the love of the milad, support the milad, even you're not able to come, support the milad. Support the milad in Pakistan, in India, in, in Vancouver so that the Naqshbandiya milads spread that love. Because when we are doing the milad and nabi we're doing it with intention of Sultanul Awliya my Shaykh Abdul Faiz al-Daghistani that his promise is that anyone who does milad in my name I grant them as if they were in seclusion for nine years with me. For every milad the Nabi we do, this is the intention. Whether we're three days a week doing our majlis or the grand milads that are taking place for the orphans in Pakistan, orphans in India and for Vancouver the general public. We wish to spread that more and more. If you're in Mauritius and you want to have a milad, alhamdulillah. If you're in Malaysia you want to have the milad, alhamdulillah. If you're in the UK and you want to have the milad, Alhamdulillah as many as we can this becomes the key to the light of our salvation in which Allah opens that light of Muhammadun Rasulullah within the heart of the believer, takes them from imitated worshipness to the real worshipness, takes them from imitated light to the real light of Sayyidina Muhammad for Nur Muhammad to enter into the heart of the servant it has to be like a birth. So how is that birth going to be born within the heart of the believer? Is by the celebration of the milad because that's the celebration of the birth. How could you only want a, a light to come to you but you don't celebrate the source of that light that becomes the secret. Is that wherever awliya went they immediately established the milad and nabi because a community has no protection and no value if there's no majlis of mawlid and nabi that is their protection, that is the grace and the fountain of the kawthar flowing for that community and for that region. And that's their whole purpose is like you go to an area if you want to establish a village and <coughs> you go to an area and immediately you dig a well. For people to live they have to have water. The water of life is the celebration of life Sayyidina Muhammad Even Allah gives the word for water, my mim alif, Muhammad and the alif of Allah Everywhere we look is La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah so these are immense, immense fountains of realities and, and blessings. 
that all the holy companions come into our life and describe their khidmat, their love and service to Prophet is what establishes them and their faith. And they ask of us to emulate and copy the same that make your life worth living, make our existence worth being here on this earth, follow the way of Sayyidina Muhammad For the youth no different, follow the sunnah, follow the way, keep the example, keep the love of Sayyidina Muhammad within our heart as the hero of our existence. No movie star, no radio stars, no music stars, the only star worth following is the star of Sayyidina Muhammad And that becomes the safety through what we're about to traverse of this Dajjal system in which they take out Muhammadun Rasulullah And you hear them talking, you hear them talking lot about Allah but nothing of Muhammadun Rasulullah as if to be clueless of what Dajjal is coming with. He's coming towards religious people and telling them, let's all unify in the worshipness of Allah and they were all with Allah. And then to unify them with Allah but no mention of Muhammadun Rasulullah And then they lose the key to their salvation and then eventually become flipped when that one comes and says, he is actually, he is the creator and misguides and misleads. Our system and understanding of dajjal is to be misled and deceit and this is a great deceit coming upon this earth. We pray that Allah dress us and bless us from the immensities of these oceans and that our hijrah towards the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad and that His holy nazar be upon us, our families and our communities inshaAllah. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa <coughs> bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. As Salaamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. This is Shaykh Narjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream, every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh.